Hey guys, it's Fonzie, and we have a big project on our hands today. Now, you know that we don't spray customer cars here at Dip Your Car. We only work on our DYC-owned cars for our videos and projects. However, a good friend of mine who has done me a ton of favors in the past asked me for a favor. His son has a 1 Series BMW. It's a nice, sharp, sporty-looking car, and he's asked us to do a full color change on this car. Body color and wheel color, complete makeover. Let me show you what we're working with. Enjoy the video. So here's what I'm thinking. The car right now is black, and the wheels, well, let me show you the wheels real quick. The wheels are not in good condition. The wheels are this OEM gray finish, but there's a ton of curb rash around the edges. There's a lot of scrapes, a lot of scratches on the wheels. There's some color coming off. So he wants to do Nardo gray on the body of the car, and black on the wheels. It's basically a reversal of what we've got now. Black car, gray wheels, we wanna have a gray car, black wheels. The black wheels are gonna match a lot of the black accents on the car, it's gonna look great. The Nardo will look really good on this car, but we wanna do a little bit of a twist on the Nardo. We've already shown you straight up Nardo gray. We're gonna make a metallic Nardo today. We're actually gonna be adding some metallic pearls into the Nardo to give it a little bit of a metallic twist, and then we're gonna finish it with a satin finish. I think this is gonna look really good when we're done. Let's jump right into the base coats. All right, guys, base coats are finished. Avalanche gray is looking super sharp on the car right now. Should we just leave it like this? No, we have a plan. Stick to the plan. It's time to mix up our metallic Nardo gray. Now, it's very important to find the right pearl when you're trying to make a metallic color. You always want the pearl to be lighter than the color that you're mixing in. So we needed to get a gray metallic that was lighter than Nardo. Boom, hyper silver. This should be perfect. We're gonna need two gallons of Nardo Gray to go down on this car, and I don't want too much metallic. I want the Nardo to stay Nardo. So I'm thinking one 25 gram bag of Hyper Silver into two gallons of Nardo should do the trick. Let's do it.
Hey guys, it's the next day. We've given the car a chance to dry overnight. It's still all masked up. We're gonna break that all down later. Right now, we're gonna focus on the wheels. Now remember, we wanna do a metallic Nardo on the body of the car and black on the wheels. So it's time to jump into these wheels and get them going. All right, guys, we finished up the car and it looks absolutely beautiful. We're gonna go outside here just a second and check it out. Now, anytime you change the color of your car and your wheels at the same time, it's awesome. It's that much more exciting of a project because it's a total makeover. So we went from black car, gray wheels to gray car, black wheels. And I'm interested to know which one do you think looks better? When we get outside here in just a second, take a look and leave a comment in the section below and let me know what you think. Now, the only thing about this project that kind of bothers me is we're supposed to do my E63 wagon coming up here next. And I wanted to do a metallic gray on my car. And now after we made this color, I'm kind of jealous and wish we made this color for my car. We'll have to figure something else out for my car. But either way, if you want to dip your car, click right up here. It'll bring you to our DYC car kits and they include everything you need to get the job done. We have tons of colors to choose from. If you have any questions at all, chat with us directly on dipyourcar.com or call in. We'd love to talk to you guys about your individual projects. Let's go outside right now and check out the car. Thank you so much for watching. It's Fonzie. I will see you on the next video.